This tasty food is so rich in healthy probiotics that eating it regularly for just two months may give a reduction in inflammation, kidney disease symptoms, and even creatinine levels. Catherine from Double O Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There is only one thing that can help protect and improve your kidney health in all the stages, regardless of the cause of the problem. It's improving gut health. Too many people underestimate the importance of the gut when it comes to fighting kidney disease. But let me show you one thing. Uremic toxins, the number one cause of kidney disease symptoms, can be removed by two organs in the body only the kidneys and the gut. According to recent research, improving the health of our gut will be able to help consistently with getting rid of what the kidneys can't remove. This will not just help protecting the kidneys, it will also greatly reduce inflammation in the body and according to science, it will lower your creatinine levels. Yes! It's all about gut health. And there are six easy ways, including healthy foods and drinks, to boost your gut health fast. Let's see them. Try kimchi. This fermented dish is not just a staple of the Korean cuisine, now available all around the world. It's also a powerful help for the health of our gut and kidneys. Kimchi boasts an extensive array of proven benefits. It may be especially effective when it comes to lowering cholesterol and reducing insulin resistance. And obviously, being made from fermented cabbage, its main benefit is the unique probiotic profile. This dish is particularly rich in a probiotic called Lactobacillus plantarum. In a lab test, this specific probiotic strain was able to significantly lower the inflammatory marker tumor necrosis factor alpha. Reducing inflammation is key when it comes to protecting kidneys, heart, and blood vessels. And while this dish is pretty easy to find pre-made and ready to eat in Asian markets, did you know that you can also make it at home? Kimchi is made from many ingredients such as Chinese cabbage, onions, garlic, ginger, and chili peppers. The recipe is pretty easy. I share it down in the description. But consider that fermented foods have a very long shelf life, and this makes it particularly easy to find them. Even some supermarkets carry kimchi, and if you have an Asian market near you, you'll be able to find this one easily. And while the benefits of eating healthy foods such as kimchi go beyond those of probiotics alone, it's clear that the main reason why it helps so much is its content of probiotics. So, let's see now what's the most effective way of supplementing this super healthy friendly bacteria. Probiotics supplements. Many studies are being done today on the health benefits of probiotics both from the diet and supplements for people with kidney problems. In particular, in this review of studies conducted on people with advanced stage kidney disease, it took just two months to see significant results with probiotics. Some test subjects lowered their creatinine levels and improved their GFR, and all of them had an immediate improvement in terms on inflammation. Researchers think that this happens because when your gut is healthy, it will be able to help consistently with getting rid of what your kidneys can't remove. Uremic toxins, in particular, are a great burden for your kidneys and your body, and removing them through the gut is a win-win situation. This is especially important if you take medications regularly or in case of diarrhea, constipation, heartburn, or other symptoms of unhealthy gut. And not many people know this, 
but it is now recognized that having an out of balance gut microbiome can cause diseases as serious as inflammatory bowel disease, but also obesity, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and even metabolic syndrome. These are some of the main risk factors for kidney disease, by the way. So, it's clear, in my opinion, that taking care of gut health is key to improve kidney health. But finding the right probiotic supplement may be challenging considering how many different brands and different types of probiotics exist. Now, some good news. Probiotic supplements don't have to be expensive to work. Often, the cheapest brands work as well, if not better, than the most expensive ones. So, how to choose the perfect probiotic for your kidney health? Easy! Do the milk test! I will show you how in this video up here. Watch it now or save it for later if you have missed it. And while supplements are safe and effective, adding more probiotics from fermented foods is even healthier. Our number five in particular is a tasty fermented tea that's the best friend of your gut. Kombucha. This fermented tea is not just as healthy as green tea. It also boasts a generous quantity of beneficial probiotics. Kombucha is made by adding specific strains of bacteria, yeast, and sugar to black or green tea, then allowing it to ferment for a week or more. This fermentation provides your gut with healthy probiotics. And as we have seen, this can really help. Yes, probiotics rich foods and beverages such as kombucha and kimchi, but also sauerkraut, temp, and more can really help with kidney health. Now, all these foods are healthy, but kombucha is somehow special. Its properties are so healthy for the kidneys, researchers now believe it may even repair kidney damage in some cases. Amazing! And also consider that it tastes great! Now guys, when you buy kombucha, always search for raw, unfiltered and unposterized preparations. Even better if they list the probiotics it contains on the label. Now, this drink may contain sugar and alcohol, both not harmful, if you only drink it in moderation. And guys, kombucha is healthy, but if you want to see a tea that's 100% made to help with kidney and gut health, absolutely don't miss our number one. Yes, while the three entries we have seen till now are very helpful, the next three are even better because the only thing healthier than getting more probiotics in the diet is adding more prebiotics. I don't talk about prebiotics nearly enough here. As we have seen, probiotics are extremely powerful when it comes to lowering creatinine levels. Since uremic toxins, creatinine and other scores are redirected to the gut when the kidneys are not working at 100%. Improving gut health by taking probiotics can really help. And while probiotics are good bacteria that can basically consume the toxins of the kidneys, prebiotics are food for those healthy bacteria. And you really need to feed these incredibly helpful bacteria if you want them to do their job. This is where prebiotics rich foods come into play. In fact, we already have various strains of lactobacillus, bifidobacteria and more inside us. Not all of us need to take more of them through supplement, even if in many cases they help. But I can guarantee you that all of us need to nourish these healthy bacteria. It's crucial for good health. This is why eating foods rich in prebiotics can really help. And in addition to providing fuel for healthy bacteria in the gut, Prebiotics may also alleviate constipation, help in case of diarrhea, aid in calcium absorption, and improve immune function. Yes, 
Eating prebiotic rich foods is really healthy according to several studies. And it's way easier than you may realize. Good food sources of prebiotics include, for example, asparagus, which is also a natural diuretic and contains inulin, but also garlic. Garlic is one of the healthiest superfoods for kidney health and it also acts as a prebiotic by promoting the growth of beneficial bifidobacteria in the gut. And also, onion, barley, oats, apples, and more. Eat these foods regularly. Bananas are also listed here, but as you surely know, they are also rich in potassium, so avoid it if your serum potassium levels are high. It's the only food rich in potassium here, and as an added bonus, all these foods are great sources of dietary fiber. Speaking of which, one of the most effective ways in the world to improve gut health is eating more soluble fiber. Oh yes, fiber. You cannot talk about gut health without mentioning fiber, especially because according to several studies, higher dietary fiber intake is associated with decrease inflammation and a slower progression of chronic kidney disease, even in patients in the advanced stages. That's because fiber is amazingly helpful in many ways. It slows the absorption of glucose, which evens out our blood sugar levels and also lowers cholesterol and inflammation. Yes, fiber is the closest thing we have to a true super nutrient. It's maybe the healthiest part of many different foods. This is why fiber can help so much in lowering creatinine levels. Now, there are two kinds of fiber all of us need in the diet. Insoluble fiber. This type of fiber promotes the movement of material through your digestive system and increases stool bulk, so it can be of benefit to those who struggle with constipation or irregular stools. Whole wheat flour, wheat bran, nuts, beans, and vegetables are good sources of insoluble fiber. Foods rich in this fiber are very healthy, don't get me wrong, but it's the other kind that provides most of the benefits. Soluble fiber. This type of fiber dissolves in water to form a gel-like material which helps control blood sugar and reduces cholesterol. It can also be metabolized by the good bacteria in the gut. It acts as a prebiotic. Yes, it's incredibly healthy. Soluble fiber is found in oats, peas, beans, some fruits and veggies, barley and psyllium. Now, what about psyllium? Psyllium husk is one of my favorite supplements in the world. I take it every day because it provides the same benefits as eating foods rich in soluble fiber but without extra potassium, phosphorus or calories. You may have already heard about brands such as Metamucil, Citrusel, and Fiberol. But just like for probiotics, you don't need to pay a premium for name brands to get a supplement that works. If you search for psyllium husk on Amazon.com or other supplement stores, you will be able to find psyllium husk supplements for very cheap. Time for our number one. This tea recipe is not just incredibly powerful when it comes to helping both gut and kidney health. It's also a recipe you can prepare right now with what you probably already have in your pantry. Let's see it. Number one, garlic and ginger tea. Garlic is one of the healthiest superfoods on the planet, no doubt about it, and it also boasts naturally antimicrobial properties, both antiviral and antibacterial, great for the health of the gut. Now, if you combine it with ginger, it will be even more powerful. Ginger helps nausea and indigestion, and it's also a natural anti-inflammatory. Ingredients and full recipe are in description below, but you can also watch how to prepare this healthy tea in my video up here. Okay guys, let me know if you will try these healthy tips and recipes. A new video is coming next Friday and I hope you see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.